Do you have your drawing enthusiasm all pumped up? Are you excited about drawing today? Oh, come on, you can be more enthusiastic than that. Shake out all those kinks in your hand and get ready to command that piece of paper. Can you loosen up enough? All right, let's draw that wishing well by starting with a four shortened circle and then an outer four shortened circle, and then we'll put a thickness on it. Make sure my hands are loosened up enough. All right, let's start about right here with a four shortened circle. A nice four shortened circle right there. That'll be inside, and then we'll put an outer four shortened circle on the outside. Now watch this. Start about right here. You loop it out, you come back in, see a little more space on the end. Come back in fairly close, just like the outside of a flying saucer. Or the rings on the planet Saturn, you always had that outside a little bit wider. And I'll darken in the inside. This will be the top to our wishing well. A vertical line right here, a vertical line right here. And this will be bricks around the outside with mortar lines in it. Curve the bottom a little more than the top because it's below your eye level. Now watch this. See? Take your pencil, start right here, and curve it along like this. Now if you want to, you can take your paper and turn it upside down because see, your hand draws this line much more naturally if you turn your paper upside down. And my paper is just too humongous to turn it around. So I'll just go ahead and bulldoze through this. Now, don't come in too far, but don't come straight down. Move it to about right there. Oh, right there. Draw a vertical line. And then, not from the corner, but move it in about right there, about that far. Come straight down, just so you have a little bit of an overhang. So you know there's a thickness there, but it's not a real deep recession right there. Curve the bottom. The near corner right here will be lower in the paper using size. Now we get to add the fun part. Now we get to use that art word. Now what the art word is is texture, adding some kind of surface on the outside of the wishing well. If we left it blank on the outside, it'd look kind of dull and boring, right? Well, if we use these art words, it really it enhances those drawings and makes it more fun to look at. It also makes it more exciting to draw for you yourself. You're the artist, and it makes it more fun, more interesting for you. So let's draw... Oh, a dot right here in the middle, and we'll aim all these brick lines, all the lines of the bricks, toward that center dot. There's two right there because we have a, a thickness in between each of the bricks. And then one right here. See, they both go toward that dot. And then some lines right there. And then a set of lines right there. A set of lines back here. Now we'll look at it's going around the back. Two lines coming toward the center. See, I'm using my pencil. You can see how it's almost like a clock, isn't it? Lying down, a foreshortened clock. Two there, two here, two lines here, and then you may take aim, and then right there. You can even, if you want to, take your pencil and draw light lines to make sure you're lining them up properly. Now for the bricks, vertical lines from each of these spots where the line meets the curve, or line meets the edge right there. Vertical line, vertical line. <laughs> Hi, Cindy, how are you? You're in such a good mood. What's, what's up? Cindy, you made the Secret City Club. Congratulations. Did you get aim in 3D and you used a red color? C-I-N-D-Y. You, you didn't spell it right. <laughs> no, I'm joking. You did. This is really nice, but you did make one mistake, though. Can, can I show you? Do you mind? See, if you turn this the way it's supposed to be and you wave it. Uh oh, your name's upside down, Cindy. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> you don't have to be so upset about it, Cindy. You can just fix it. You just re-glue it. Bye-bye. I think she'll get over it. Minor uh, upset for Cindy. She's used to doing everything perfectly the first time. Go along, curve these lines, matching the contour of the wishing well. It reminds me, have you finished your name in 3D? You just take your name and you slant it up in direction 1 or direction 7. And you put the thickness on it, and you have it in 3D. That's just what Cindy did to join the club. Curve these lines around here, just contour, and we'll continue the texture of the wishing well by adding the bricks. Bricks are really a nice texture to have on your drawing. Leave a space there, and I'll draw the brick there, and another brick here. I'm leaving some mortar space where the cement is between each of the bricks. <laughs> and then a brick there. Now watch this. I offset this brick just to make it a little more interesting and a little more fun pattern. See this? It's curving along. It's matching the guidelines there. A brick there and a brick there. One at the bottom. And then going over the right side. Now for the 
lines back here they go down into the well all the way down and then it's nice and dark over here and it gets lighter and lighter as it moves across do you want to add some kind of a cover on top of your wishing wheel see some wishing wheels just have a bar across the top with a bucket going down or some have a really fancy top to it you want to put the top well what we'll do there is we'll start with a direction seven line on top and then a direction one line and then right in the middle of this line you put an imaginary dot up the center and you draw the top almost floating see how it's floating up here it's like it has some kind of magical force to it but we'll connect it with some dowels in a second this slants here see that slant move the slant across and connect it over here and now we just draw this the sticks coming down to connect the roof to the base of the at the top of the wishing well. Leave an overhang over here, slight overhang, and connect it to the bricks. And then in direction one line over here, and this one slants in just a bit so it connects. And the back one, you see the back one, the peekaboo one, way back there in the distance, connecting the top to the wishing well. Now draw some shingles on top, some in more interesting texture. You have the texture of the bricks, and now you have the texture of the roof. I'm going to draw these really quick. You can take your time or you can just sketch them in loosely like I'm doing all along here. All along here. And then put some grass along the bottom. All along the bottom. Some texture. Even grass is texture. And maybe put a horizon line back there. Take your pencil and draw some shading along here. Nice and dark under the overhang. See it's even darker than the rest of the picture. And then the left side of each one of these bricks. The left side over here. You have the whole drawing a nice texture, the left side of this brick and the left side of this brick. Nice and dark over here because of the definite shading. And even the left side of this cabin, or the top up here, the roof. Blend it across from dark to light. Finish my texture. And I'll go back in later and add some color. You can do that too if you want to. Get your crowns out of your color pencils and color it later on. Draw, draw, draw. Practice your drawing every day for about 20 or 30 minutes. And when you're adding your old design to your picture today, use some texture in your drawing.